Hello everybody, before we get started, I just want to disclose that this video is sponsored by Electronic Arts. So a few weeks ago, I had the opportunity to fly out to E3, and while I was there, I was invited to play the new Battlefield 1 on live stream with a bunch of other gaming YouTubers and even real celebrities like Snoop Dogg and Zac Efron. Seeing Zac Efron in particular was extra weird because like two days prior to that on PB and Jeff, we played a High School Musical 2 DS game. <laughs> Dude, Troy, looking uh -huh. good, Zac Efron. Oh. And then there he was! Was like three feet away from me. <laughs> Life is weird. But playing Battlefield 1 with a lot of other YouTubers and celebrities also meant I got to shoot a lot of YouTubers and celebrities. People like Terry Crews, Matt Pat, Richard Sherman, and tons of other people. But don't worry, it was just a video game, so it doesn't matter. At least, I guess it doesn't matter. What if it really is the thought that counts and every time you kill somebody in a video game, some bearded guy in the sky marks it down in his notebook like, he did it again! He did it again! What is this, the 50,000th time? He's gonna be in so much trouble when he gets up here! Man! <laughs> anyway, Battlefield 1! Again, the event included tons of different people, ranging from celebrities, famous YouTubers, and then there was me! Yay! I don't think any of my gameplay was shown on the stream, but I can't really blame them. While other people were doing things like this, I think he probably it looked like he was getting rocked just a oh, little bit. Look, vehicle disabled. You take him down. Wow. Vehicle destroyed. What a use there. And this variant that you, you're going to see a unique. Oh, Ooh. get some right in front, but that's going to be an assist. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. I was doing stuff like this. Oh. <laughs> That sucked. And yeah, just in case you didn't notice, that was me. I got laughed at. I'm gonna see a unique. Oh, Ooh. get some brain from it. That's gonna be. Gonna <laughs> but in all seriousness, it was a lot of fun participating in the event and being around a lot of famous actors, sports players, not to mention a lot of really skilled battlefield players, was a very cool experience. But anyway, enough of that. Let's get into the game. The level we played on was massive, and we had around 64 people in the match, so it was pretty chaotic. Right away, I started having flashbacks to war movies like Saving Private Ryan or something. Yeah, I know, different war, but who cares? Like in past Battlefield games, there's a lot of different vehicles you can use. Obviously, there's tanks, which are super powerful, but I didn't really use them much during the games we played. Not really my style. I'm more of a speedy vehicle kind of guy. You know, zooming around the map, causing havoc, and... Dying a lot. Although on the third round of the round we won, I was, and I don't mean to brag or anything, top on the team for a pretty significant amount of time. Thank you, thank you very much. You, you're too kind. Please keep, keep, please keep clapping though. I, li I like that. And pretty much all I was doing was moving people from point to point, so it is pretty viable. Then there's planes. I also didn't use the planes much because if you happen to see this really old Battlefield 3 video I did in 2011 on BVG Gameplay, I'm not very good at flying them. Oh! Oh crap! But I did watch other people use them and it looks like a lot of fun. It's also really intimidating when you're on the ground and you hear an enemy plane fly over your head. I mean, you saw what happened earlier. Then there's things like mounted weapons. But what's really nice is that they seem to be placed in areas that will actually get some use. On top of a hill, inside buildings, on points, things like that. And if you don't want to use any vehicles or mounted weapons, you can always play as a regular infantry unit. There's different classes, including assault, support, which can drop ammo, sniper, or scout classes, and the medic who can revive fallen allies. And there's even specific pilot and tank classes this time as well. But one of the biggest changes to the game are the giant vehicles that the losing team can use. The stage we were on had a giant airship. It's a pretty easy target, but it can dish out a ton of damage and turn the tide of a match. Or it can just blow up. That also is, po is possible. It's a possibility. And then everyone jumps out for dear life. Ah! But not only will it blow up, it will also come crashing down onto the map, destroying players, buildings, and anything else under it. I didn't even know about this the first match, and it nearly landed right on top of me. I was somewhere around here, but I actually didn't die. Um, everyone else around me did, though. RIP. 
So that was my experience at the Battlefield 1 E3 livestream event. It was a lot of fun, and thanks to EA for flying me out there, and thank you to you guys for supporting me and allowing me to do stuff like this. I really appreciate you, and I will see you on the next full-length PPG video coming very soon. Bye-bye! I just watched Marshawn Lynch get mowed down right in front of me and I couldn't do anything about it. I'm sorry, Seattle. Please forgive me. I also shot Richard Sherman a few times, so forgive me for that too.